year. Students have increasingly been targeted by fraudsters with a variety of different scams, and that's only picking up now with the time extended off between semesters. Awareness is always one of the best ways to avoid being a target of a scam, though, and that's why we have our financial expert Andy Mattingly joining us to talk about some of the latest scams and how you can avoid being a victim. Andy, we appreciate you being with us. As always, we'll get right to it here. What is this newest scam that is being tor uh, targeted towards college students, and how does it work? Well, the newest one um, that the FTC is reporting they're getting a lot of complaints about is that students will receive an email from their college, either from a professor or someone who works there, that looks like it comes from the college and it's offering a job. So it's very professional and it looks just like it came from the college. And basically the student is getting an offer for a job. Right. Is this the only way a fake check scam works? Well, unfortunately, there are several different ways it can work. So what happens is they get offered um, a job, then they get paid extra money and they're you know, told to send it on to someone else. Or maybe they're offered a secret shopper job from a company or that they've won a prize from somewhere. All the time, it's always about they're getting a check and then asked to sending some of that extra money to someone else. How can students protect themselves from these scams? Well, it's always being wary of anything that doesn't seem right and make sure they talk to someone they trust and don't accept any money more than what you're owed and never send any money back to someone. Because what happens is the bank finds out that the check is bad. They take all the money out and then the students out the money that they sent on to someone. And the complaints right now are up about two thousand dollars in loss for these students. Wow. Uh, so what other scams should then students be aware of in the coming months? Well, there's going to be fake stimulus money because most students don't get a stimulus check, but there'll be fake scams about that. There'll also be about new scholarships and grants and even fake job offers when, um, you know, they're graduating. So and this can come via emails, social media posts, social media messages. So they just need to be very careful because people are trying to get their identity so they can do further damage to um, and, you know, get other frauds and scams by that. All right, Andy Manley, appreciate you coming with us uh, every uh, Wednesday, buddy. We look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Okay, thank you.